grids, love them or hate them. In this first video, we'll create a simple grid and fill it with images available within Adobe Express. Starting with an Instagram square post, click on the grids icon in the left hand menu. There are lots of layouts to choose from and the process to use any of them will be the same. As my how-to videos are no faff, straight to the point and aim to be short, I'll choose a grid with only four images. Click the chosen grid and it will be added to the canvas. I have a couple of options here. I can resize it manually to fit the square canvas, keeping the grid as a movable layer. Or I can click set as page background here in the left hand panel. Which you choose depends on your project. Do you want to be able to reorder layers or have a design element underneath the grid? I'm going to keep it simple for this first video. I'll set this grid as a page background. We can still change the background color up here at the top. This will change the color of the gap between the grid images. The gap between the images can be altered here in the left hand panel with spacing. I'll increase this to 40. I can also change the padding. This is the margin around the outside of the grid. As a rule, you might want that to be the same size as your spacing to give your project a cohesive feel, but you can have any amount you like. Even though I have chosen a grid with equal sizes for the images, I can still alter the look of this grid. Clicking twice on any of the image squares reveals the little handles on the sides. Dragging these in any direction will change the size of that image square and make it, well, something else. This will be true of any of the image squares in any of the grid layouts, so you can experiment right through your design process. Maybe you decide that only three squares need images. You can delete any image square by selecting it and using your delete key. Now I have my basic layout done, how do I add different images into each of these squares? Select the image square you want to start with, navigate to media and search. Saturday the 17th of February is Random Acts of Kindness Day, so I'm going to search kindness to get started. I'll move to the next image square and choose my next photo and so on until I've filled all the squares with the images I might want to use. With all the squares filled, I can now edit and move elements around until I have what I want. First, I want to swap the bottom photos to the opposite sides. I can click and hold the image and simply drag it to the other side, hold it over the image there, and the images will magically swap places. You also have the same image options as you would with any image in Adobe Express. So we can add duotone effects or adjustments to light, color or detail. We can even animate each image within the grid itself. To move an image within its grid square, double click the image to see the familiar controls to resize and rotate. Let's have a look at how my project turned out once I'd finished adding some effects to the images and some text. 